So we were talking about challenges and um, we've come up with one that we think is going to be pretty cool. Um, and we're going to use the Turkish get-up. So it's a slightly more technical exercise and I'm going to do a little tutorial for you now on how to do it. Um, you can always, if you get stuck with it, do a video of yourself doing it, send it to myself or Robin and we can kind of help you out in terms of your technique and stuff. But Turkish get-up is such a great exercise because it's so um, close to a lot of the jiu-jitsu movements you do that actually it's not only going to be good physically for you, uh, it's also going to be fantastic uh, when we get back to class. Um, it's going to improve the, all of your structure and positioning when you're doing your jiu-jitsu. So, um, you know, kill two birds with one stone. The way we start, I'm going to do it without any weight to start with. We're going to lie down on our side. It seems a bit weird, but when I've got a weight in my hand, you'll see why this is appropriate. We're going to lie in the fetus position, tucked in, okay? Hands on top of each other, a bit like I'm holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell in my hand, in the bottom hand. I'm going to roll onto my back. I've left myself enough room here, you might see me move around here. Okay, let me shuffle so you can see. Then from here, okay, I'm going to put my arm out and I'm going to straighten my leg. So my leg's going to go straight, arm's going to go out, and I'm going to press my arm straight up. And then I'm going to rock to my side and sit up through my elbow. As you know, no, I love a sit up sweep. This is a bit of a sit up sweep movement. Okay, so we're here. Now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up onto my hand. So I just angle my hand out, come up onto my hand. Okay. Now from here I'm going to bridge up. So I'm going to use my glutes to drive up. I'm going to bring this leg back through the gap here. Okay. I'm looking up at the moment. Now what happens is I'm going to come up and I'm going to pivot this away and I'm going to look to the horizon here. Now what I'm going to do Imagine I've got the weight here, I'm going to stand up, so I'm doing like a lunge with an overhead weight. So I'm going to bring my feet into a strong standing position. Then from here I'm going to reverse it. So my leg's going to go back, backwards lunge. Okay, this is why it's important to teach a backwards lunge, so you can do your, um, you can do your Turkish get up. Then you're going to pivot and bring your hand back. You can see that I'm trying to achieve a straight line all the way through from my top hand here all the way down through my shoulders to my bottom hand on the floor. Now, frame up, bring the leg through. Sit down, okay, sit back, hopefully I've got enough room here. Down onto my elbow, and now I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna bring the kettlebell back down, knees in, and to here. Okay, a couple of key points. If I do it from this angle, just the first bit, when I go to here, 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 and here, notice that my leg is angled out slightly. It's not dead in line with me here. Okay, it's just angled out slightly. Arm is out on a similar alignment. So I've got this kind of sort of staggered rectangle here. And I rock up sideways. If you try and sit up, your feet will come off the ground. So feet to the floor, planted roll to your side. Look how I create this angle straight down and I pack my shoulder. And I come up to my elbow and I come up to my hand. Okay, now from here my bridge and I bring this back through. This is like threading the needle, right? We're just in a slightly elevated position. Okay, so let me do one more with a, with a weight. I haven't done one with a weight for a while, so we'll see. I'm going to be doing this challenge with you guys because I haven't done my Turkish get up as much as I should. So if I've got a weight, you can go pretty modest on this. Okay, so I've got 12 kilo here. You could go eight, you could go a can of beans, you could go a dumbbell, whatever you've got. So here, roll to your back. Here, I'm going to spin around to sort of space. I'm not going to be able to punch all the way to the ceiling because I won't have a ceiling left. Extend, leg out, arm out, press. So we're getting a bit of a chest press in there. I'm going to rock and come up here. Looking at the kettlebell, hips up, thread the needle, come through, up, pivot my back leg round so I can come up into my lunge. Look to the horizon, pack the shoulder, up, just touching the ceiling. My arm should be locked out here, by the way. Then back down, reverse the movement, hand down, pack the shoulder, make sure it's there, through. This is actually easier when you've got the weight in your hand. Elbow down. Okay, here, back down, back down, fetus position. If I need to move the kettlebell around my body, here, I'm going to hold it by the horns, 
and I'm going to roll it over my head here and over to this side. Or I'm going to keep it on my chest, roll it here and bring it over just to be safe. Okay? So that's your Turkish get up. Hope you guys could see that in the video. Um, any problems, obviously give us a shout. Video your technique if you get stuck and we'll give you a helper.